Hi everyone, Julia here on this beautiful last day of January 2022, or so they say. It's a Monday and just taking these dogs for a little walk and little mountain trails here. There's the house down there. There's my tent, which is my she shed. Hang out in there most dur during the day. I'm not out walking with the dogs. <clears throat> but I wanted to talk about magic and kind of how it works and why it works. The reason it works, or one of them, is because in case no one's told you or you haven't heard before we live in a virtual reality or an illusory reality however you want to refer to it and because of that in scientific terms your intentions can modify future probability a lot of people say this reality is scripted and of course it is to a point because the creator of this reality has certain criteria and things to get done and from my understanding is it wants everything in this realm to grow and evolve and eventually become love and see how once a whole entity like this plane becomes love then you have this this gift that we can't even imagine because we're not there yet but you know just think about a world where um, everybody just cares about everyone else everybody's there to help everyone else no one has to work no one has to buy anything if you need something you know, somebody will have what you need. No hoarding. Just living in cooperation and compassion and care instead of the way we live now where everybody lives in fear and scarcity and they want to hoard or they just want to keep escaping reality all the time. So they just want to spend all their money on ways to do that. So, yeah, that's, that's empty, it's not going anywhere, and we're at that place, we're at a paradigm shift. So, um, we can shift this 180 degrees toward love, away from fear. So, and that's where the magic comes in, because again, with our intent, we can modify future probability. So you really have to watch your thoughts, and especially your words, and make sure you focus on what you want, what you intend. And I've, I've seen this work so many times in my life. I've talked about it before. But whatever I focus on, especially if I speak it all the time, it manifests. That's just the way this world works. The Creator's always trying to give us what we want. And so, if we're thinking about something or talking about something all the time, then that's interpreted as an intent, a desire, and so it manifests. So we really need to own our magic again. You know, when we were younger, we all knew we had magic. I, uh, from the time I was a little girl, I knew I had magic. I was always trying to change the traffic lights from red to green. And I, if I held the thought of the dishes needing washing in my head, then my brother wouldn't have it in his head and make me go wash them. <laughs> That was in my head, the magic that I did. But 
as I've lived out these 60 years, I've seen a lot more magic. <laughs> so it's real. It's real. And if, if you have enough desire and you put enough emotion behind whatever you want, you will manifest it. And you don't even need to look into the how. It'll just happen. Just think about what you want. If you want a beautiful, peaceful world where we all cooperate, then focus on that. If you want to find your soulmate, focus on that. But if it's about that, you need to make sure you heal yourself first. And I've talked about that many times, doing your emotional healing work. In Language Lessons of the Heart, so I'll put that again in the comments is a great way to do that and then once you heal yourself emotionally and truly love yourself not in the narcissistic way but accept yourself then you'll find you don't really need a significant other definitely not to complete you so it becomes a compliment instead of a completion and that makes all the difference so Please, people, do your emotional healing work. It's crucial. And focus on what you want. We're magic. We are. We're divine creator beings. We do not die. This avatar that we're using, when it, when it quits working, we keep going. All we're doing here is picking up the signal. Our avatars, via our water molecules, and magnetism are able to pick up the signal that is us and let us run the show with these avatars for this time here in this realm on this plane so how cool is that how cool is that you know this reality is just as real or just as not real as your dream reality you know when you dream Everything seems so real in the middle of your dream. And that's what this is. Same kind of thing. And we have to be lucid dreamers in this reality. And be in control of our dreams. And not just let it take us on these little nightmarish journeys. So, yeah, I mean, there is no limit. There is no limit to what we can have. And as the collective, you know, the more, the more we put together, the more strength we have in modifying future probability, regardless of what's out there. If, if everybody on the plane in this realm decided they wanted to flip the script from fear to love and have compassion and cooperation and caring as a centerpiece of our culture, and they really wanted it and intended it for happen, it would happen in no time. That's just too much strength for the system to overcome. It will just happen for sure. So, you know, we're able to learn all this stuff again because the great things like the Internet. Look how many people have been able to connect via the Internet. It's amazing. It's wonderful. And, you know, everybody's worried about going into a technocracy and becoming part machine and AI running everything. But don't think about that if that's not what you want. Think about what you do want. Focus on that. We'll manifest it. And we'll use the technology for good. Like we are with the internet right now. So. Just really, really. Keep your thoughts. And your words. Focus on what you want, how you want things. And do your shadow work, regardless of your age. Don't wait till you're 50 or 60 years old to do your shadow work. And then you can be happy. Be happy now. So, those two tips there will change the world one of us at a time. If we all did our healing work, and we all focused on the good, positive reality that we all want. There you go. Simple. 
That is how simple it is. It's is so simple. So let's do this, okay? We're magical, divine creator beings, and we need to start acting like it. And look at the the truckers in Canada and around the world now. And everybody else standing behind them. We're in we're in the midst of a revolution. Most people aren't even noticing it. But this is our option. This is our opportunity to flip the paradigm to where we want it. And we're getting there. Look how many people have woken up over this whole pandemic. It is amazing. And more and more all the time. So here we go. And again, some people probably die due to things that have gone on these last couple of years. And that's okay, because again, nobody really dies. And uh, I firmly believe that, <laughs> hey Cosmo, I firmly believe that um, when it's our time, it's our time. My life's been spared too many times for me not to, to feel like that. So, yeah. When, when someone you love dies, just know they didn't die. Their signal's just not in that avatar anymore. That avatar's no longer picking up that signal. It's like the radio's been turned off. But the signal's still out there. Still out there. So, I'll, yeah, if they're real people, there's the whole uh, topic of non-player characters too. But we won't go there. <laughs> All right, so that's it for today. Tomorrow is a new moon, so be sure and set your intentions. Since that's what we're talking about, intentions, you set your intentions on the new moon and you manifest on the full moon. So write down some intentions you have and look into language lessons of the heart. Again, I'll put a playlist in the comments. And let's change this world. One of us at a time, and then all together. There you go. All right, thanks for listening. Ciao, ciao.